Well, we're going to do a box opening and install today of a new Lenovo desktop computer here. It's model H430. It's got a uh, SD card reader on it, memory reader. It's got a one terabyte drive. It's got the new uh, Pentium dual core processor in it. And it's, I believe it's 3.3 megahertz. Not a gaming type computer, but it's good enough for what I use it for. And it's wireless as well. It's going to replace this Dell that will only run in safe mode now. That's running Vista. This thing became a real problem here for the last six or eight months where it will no longer reboot. I've done all kind of registry cleaning. I got Norton's Utilities, defrag the disk. And it really needs to be rebuilt uh, with Windows 8. Can't get 7 anymore. But Windows 8, the total install is $200. And it doesn't make any sense to do that. And I still might have problems with the computer when I can get a, a new Lenovo here, which I got for $429, I believe it came to. And it's already got Windows 8 on it. And I'm going to keep my monitor, and i got a wireless mouse and keyboard, so uh, what I'm going to have a problem with Windows 8 is some of the applications I currently have may or may not install, but I would have the same problem with the Dell. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Alright, this is what it looks like when you open it up. It looks like i got a keyboard in here, which I wasn't expecting, but we'll check that out. And a mouse, power cord, a whole bunch of CDs, so let's pull this out. So this is what I got with this. I got a keyboard, I got a Windows 8, looks like a restore disk and user manual, a mouse, USB port mouse, and power cable. I'm going to use my wireless mouse and keyboard with this. And here's the tower. I won't be able to see it very well, but it's got a DVD uh, read and write on it. It's got a memory card reader, which is pretty nice to have. Here's some of the specs on this. Not sure how well this is going to come out. Looks like a 3.4 megahertz, 2 gig memory, um, and then there's another 4 gig, 1 terabyte hard drive, card reader, DVD, read write, chassis mount, keyboard, and made in China. Lenovo bought IBM a number of years ago. So we're going to take out the poor problematic Dell with Vista and upgrade that with this Windows 8 Lenovo. Alright, we're going to see if this thing will even shut down. Most times I have to power it off, but we're going to give it a try. See what happens here. I really wanted to get a Mac, but for $2,000 I just couldn't see it. Plus, I don't like the new keyboards they got with the, the Mac. Hey, it shut down. Can't believe it. So we're going to get this out and get the Lenovo in place. So this is the back of the Lenovo. Of course, you got your power plug. I've already put in my USB wireless keyboard and mouse. It's got a number of USB ports in the back. Monitor connection. These are speakers, and this must be the wireless hub, but it does have an Ethernet connection, which is what I'm going to use since this is installed right by my router. So what am I going to do with the Dell? This is what I want to do. It's just going to take me some time. Is I'm going to put a new disk drive in it, and I'm going to reinstall Vista since I got the install disk, and then I can get a Windows 8 upgrade which is much cheaper and upgrade it since I won't be carrying over any of the, the bad issues with this. Can't get Windows 7 anymore. I'd actually would like to have Windows 7 but they don't sell it in the store anymore. You can get it online. Microsoft has kind of pushed that out for everyone to get Windows 8 so we shall see. It's going to take time and I need a computer. We've got a laptop with Windows 8 so we've been using it so let's uh, put this in.